around about 1969 I think it was I kept hearing this um, this record being played when I went to the um, Midlands Arts Centre in Birmingham and the song in question was Mr Businessman and it really you know you know when a record sometimes just catches you just you know catches your imagination you love it anyway it was by this gentleman here Ray Stevens and uh, a bit later he put out this album called Even Stevens uh, his original name was uh, Harold Ray Ragsdale Stevens sounds better doesn't it Anyway, in 1962, he was persuaded by a couple of producers at Mercury Records to move from his home in Atlanta to uh, Nashville. And when he did, well, it just took off. Um, you'll probably remember his hits of uh, The Streak, the, the sort of comedic records, The Streak, and Bridget the Midget, and such like um very very popular over here very popular but he had a great singing voice anyway apart from the you know aside from the comedic things but uh this album i've i've only ever seen one other copy of this i, I have a feeling that um he he received quite a, um an important country music association award uh probably posthumously um but it, his voice i still think is great you know take away bridget the midget and the streak because he did have a great voice uh the songs on this one the minority funny man for he's a jolly good fellow <laughs> Say Cheese, Mr. Businessman, that I just mentioned. Uh, it's the side two, isn't it lonely together? Face the music, the... Now, this is a great title. The Earl of Stilton Square. Uh, unwind and the Great Escape. Well, there, there he is. Uh, sat on a chair with some sheet music in front of him. Great. I'm... I don't think there's been a compilation for a good number of years. I did see one probably about 15 years ago, but since then, nothing's, nothing's been made. There's quite extensive notes on here by somebody with a marvellous name called Tupper Sousy. That's uh, S-A-U-S-S-Y. What a name, eh? Uh... This contributions here, comments here from Libra and Stoller. Um, uh, what is it? It says uh, a week or so later, Ray had written business, Mr. Businessman. Shortly thereafter, he had written the minority. He found himself composing uh, from the core of his beliefs. Well, that comes across. That certainly comes across. Anyway, an artist to check out and uh, listen to his material you'll probably find some on some of the, the streaming services but ray stevens very very nice see he's doing that thing there where he's sort of holding underneath now we all know why people do that it's because men are starting to get a double chin of course that doesn't apply to me does it right well hope you've enjoyed this and uh, click me a like if you can because it helps the channel and if you haven't subscribed, why not subscribe now? And you can enjoy all the other things that I put on here from my uh, rather extensive collection. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.